Hey guys, Darren here. Welcome to Mayhem Country Living. Hope you guys are doing well. Hope you guys tolerated all this bad weather that has plagued us throughout the eastern side of the United States. Um, here in central Alabama, we had zero degree weather for about three days. Uh, freezing weather for about five days and it was very, very cold. Um, but we didn't have snow. Um, I was finished up some work in North Alabama. I did have a little bit of sleet and snow a little bit, not a whole lot. So we did very well. Um, this video today is mainly gonna be on the hydroponics, but I'll be doing a video later going into what all we had uh, used. And that will be pretty much an after action report because I want to go and find out how much firewood down to the stick I've been keeping track of it. Both fireplaces, how much propane in our portable heaters. And uh, then we will get a bill, obviously, for our natural gas and our electricity. Um, I do know we just got in a power bill this morning, a few minutes ago, online and the power to run everything and keep it warm, although we don't have any kind of electricity to heat other than the blower for the uh, natural gas furnace. This is the, uh, these are my uh, bonsai snippers or, or trimmers. Um, I think the power bill is $368. Which is low for us. The way it is. I, I have no idea why. Um, and this is winter. We're not even cranking up the pool pump. But way she goes. Uh, I, that's not what I actually, that's not what I called you for. But I'm going to spin you around in just a minute and show you. While I've been talking, I've been making more of these um, pool noodle Retainers, I guess, if you would, for uh, the hydroponic stuff because we are really getting into full production and going to be changing around a whole bunch of stuff. It'll be interesting. I think you'll like it. More to come. All right, guys, I will show you this. This is the problem I've been having. These are ones that I had started in peat. They take off like gangbusters. I've got all my good nutrient. All my good nutrient. The water is heated. Uh, we're maintaining about 70 degrees, which is fabulous because uh, the ambient temperature outside is in the 20s. But you see, this begins to happen. And this begins to happen. Well, it, it's because of the algae that develops on these peat pots. And I don't want to use rock wool because I couldn't find it during all the shortages. And if I couldn't find it then, I'm not going to use it and I'm not going to go with the companies now because if they couldn't help me, I don't want to do anything with them. But I'll show you these guys. This is the Curly Crest. Uh, it is a, a, a watercress. Uh, this tastes like wasabi, if you like wasabi. And you will see, hang on, I'll get it situated. We've got a root developing, and we are using pool noodles or pipe insulation. You can see all of these guys are doing really well. Some of these, there, there is a learning curve with this because placement is critical. You see this one, I did not place the roots far enough down 
and it is stunted and died. The way it goes. Um, there is a little bit of a learning curve with this, but once you figure it out, then you get stuff like this. These have been in here about five or six days and they are growing and taking off. Um, basil, cilantro, uh, three different kinds of basil, spicy, saber, sweet basil, Italian basil, um, and then cilantro. These things are taking off really good. Why am I wanting to do so much uh, basil? Because I like pesto. So we're gonna be doing a whole bunch of pesto. So it has been a learning curve, I will say. Um, I have run into a lot of problems with some of the uh, soil that I have been using for my honest to goodness plants in soil. Um, I think I, I, I bought a couple of the bags that are tainted with the, uh, the Roundup equivalent because anything I put in this pot, water it, it dies. It is the craziest stuff. It's the stuff in a brown bag, and I, I'm just not going to use it. I'll probably just pour it out somewhere in a hole to fill in. But the stuff will not grow anything. Craziest thing I've ever seen. People had posted videos on this on YouTube that they had bought this stuff, this dirt, from this company by the ton. And I thought, oh, that's a bunch of crap. Holy cow. Um, it is tainted with that stuff and it will grow nothing nothing at all because this is not the same dirt as this one and this one is doing wonderfully as well as this one that one pot is from the bag that I have upstairs outside crazy 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 um, these are uh, the ones that we are growing from in the hydroponics I've got to flop over some parsley because uh, we had all that cold weather and it may have knocked back some of our parsley. You can see all the other things are doing wonderfully. We're going to change around a bunch of stuff. I'm not even going to get into uh, uh, what I told you about, but everything is going really well. Um, even the ornamentals are doing great. Again, this is old dirt we had, not this new stuff. Um, I I'm just amazed. But the citrus is doing pretty dang good. All my chives, all the green onions, all the green onions are almost three feet tall. Holy cow. You would be amazed. The nice thing is a lot of this stuff we used in our bone broth uh, on the other channel, let's see, that we just did that should be up in the next five or six hours you can go over there and take a look at it if you would and you guys have seen me make it before but we were gifted with a a 20 plus pound turkey carcass from christmas so holy cow we had to do something with it couldn't let it go to waste more time so we're going to wrap this one up i have so much to do i got to go build some more of the uh, grandkids playground equipment because we bought them a bunch of playground equipment for Christmas and uh, because of the weather one day I was out there uh, this past Friday in the 20 degree weather and we built it that was a cold day but everything else is doing well and I'll, I'll do a whole lot more videos to fill you in and uh, as well as you know what's going on a little bit of changes and stuff like that guys take care of your people check on them it's been some bad weather. <laughs>